We're back in Forza Horizon 5, this time we're going to be checking out a new car pass car that came into the game last week, but we're checking it out today because I completely forgot. And it's going to be this thing. This is the 2020 Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12. This thing has 818 horsepower, 590 foot-pounds of torque, it weighs 3,190 pounds out of a 6.5 liter V12 engine. Rear wheel drive, S2 class, 967. This thing has a base price of $5 million. Are you insane? My God, look at this thing though. Let's explode it. You can only open so much. It is a race car. I understand that you can't open everything, which is unfortunate, but this thing looks absolutely mental, dude. Look at this massive rear wing. What the heck, bro? What the heck? Like why? Dual outlet exhaust, single tipped, but that looks sick and a half. It does have a rain light right there on the bottom. Lamborghini branding right here on the car, on the back end. Has Lamborghini branding right here. Squadra Corsa, of course it is. Ascenza SC B12. Number 63, because that's the Lamborghini racing number. Ooh, look at the light right there on the bottom. That looks pretty sick. The front diffuser is going to chop some ankles off, bro. It's going to chop some ankles and a half. That is insane, dude. This thing looks so freaking mental. Like, it is... Like, it looks so mind-blowing. Like, it's just an insane looking vehicle i don't even know i can only imagine seeing this thing in real life like i would lose my absolute mind all right bucket seats and a half omp racing seats looking sick this thing is insane there's so much stuff man i do think there is still ac vents that's what those little uh things are right there unless those are microphones or speakers and i honestly do not know but this thing looks good man it looks really really good there's a lot of buttons right there on that center console and some more on the steering wheel Let's see what this thing sounds like in an RPM test. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Oh my God. Did you hear that? I'm going to turn it up again and I'm going to full throttle this thing. Oh, what the heck, dude? Why does it sound so good? Okay. I got a comment on the first video that I did with the Lamborghini, um, the uh, Squadra Corsa Lamborghini. That thing sounded absolutely insane. And I got a comment saying to check out this thing, that this thing is even more insane with anti-lag on the stock engine. We're going to be checking that out today as soon as we get to the upgrade portions. But for now, this thing absolutely sounds mentally insane. Really quick, this is launch control. This is what launch control sounds like on this car, and it sounds insane. I'm turning up the volume 3 to 1, and here we go. That is crazy, dude. Why does it sound so good? Here we are. We're going to be starting this race, and... Oh wow, launch control is a little weird. Oh dude, it sounds so freaking good. This thing is under the extreme track toy categories. We are against some other extreme track toys. It screams so freaking loud, dude. Holy crap. We're at what, like 8,000 RPM? And it's insanely loud. Wow, dude, that's, that's a high pitch V12 and a half, if I've ever heard one. That is insane. This freaking BMW, dude, it should not be here. Extreme track toy my foot. That thing is should not be here. Oh, here we go. Passing the BMW. Bro, the shifts sound so brutal. You hear that? It, they, like, I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to shift. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Hold on. Let me go around this corner and then I'll turn it up and we can shift. 3, 2, 1, go. You hear that shift, dude? It sounds so freaking good. This car, it's, it's on another level. Like... It's so freaking loud, it's so high pitched, and it's so mentally insane. We're back on the third lap. All, all of like the podium vehicles right in front of us. Another freaking BMW, are you insane? Oh my god, man. Wait, did we just lap somebody? We're still in fourth, oh no, never mind. We didn't lap anybody. That was an actual person. Oh shoot. I honestly thought we like lapped somebody. That was like, what the heck? How did we lap somebody already? All right. Third place is just up ahead. If I can get podium in this thing, that would be absolutely insane. That's literally all I'm hoping for because first and second are a little too high up there in the ranking. Or like, they're a little too far ahead from us right now. This be this freaking Bugatti, there's no way you're taking that corner at that freaking speed with all-wheel drive. That's bull crap. That is absolute bull poop and a half. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pass the Bugatti, please. Thank you. Stay over there. Stay over there. Do not hit me. Uh... Okay, it wasn't that bad of a corner right there, but it was fine. Oh, dude, that Bugatti was coming up. Did we get third? We got third, right? Yes, we got third place. Podium at least. That's all I freaking wanted. We got podium in the stock Ascenza SC V12. Absolutely mentally, mentally hardcore car. Sounds insane. Let's 
go to the upgrade shop. I'm like super excited to see what this thing sounds like with anti-lag. At the upgrade shop with the Ascenza SCV12, we have no engine swaps. We can do all-wheel drive if we wanted to. That'll give us a better launch and better acceleration. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to leave it rear-wheel drive. We are going to throw on some twin turbos onto this thing. This thing, this thing was naturally aspirated. Or was it supercharged? I think it was supercharged. Twin turbos, 1,069 horsepower out of a twin turbo. Just, just like that setup. I think we are on the grippiest tire compound. Um, anything else is just going to drop us down. Even drag tire drops us down in, in grip. What? Stock tire compound it is. 355s on the stock. 365s on the upgraded. Absolutely insane. 315s on the front end. We do have track width for this thing. So we can extend those wheels pretty flush with those fenders. That's going to be absolutely insane. I love the wheels too. Like they're pretty nice. Those are some nice freaking wheels, dude. Coming over to brake options. We have no brake options. We have rally suspension. What? This thing picks it up so freaking high. And we also have drift suspension. I'm going to leave it on race because that's what we're doing. We also have some engine components that we can actually upgrade to this thing. Let's do that. Oh, dude, we have... Okay, anti like adds like another 300 horsepower on top of that. This thing's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely mental. It's going to be way more crazier than before. I'm going to turn up the volume right now because I want to hear it with anti-lag. So mind your ears because it's going to be absolutely loud and it's going to be ear rape. Holy crap, dude. What the heck is this car? We weigh 3,300 pounds. We are at X class 999. 34,000 credits to complete the setup. Dude, I'm so freaking excited how this thing sounds. Like, I'm mind blown and like my headphones are like about to explode because it cannot process all of that sound at once. It's like insane. Running on the stock color option, we have this, right? Little bit of a race livery and everything looking snazzy. If you want to, you can do it all solid one color. Oh, you, you can change the color option. Um, it removes the, like, how do you explain it? Like the black livery top end and the black livery sides, but you keep like all the Lamborghini stickers and everything. That's sick. I love that. We can do like a different color or something, but honestly, oh wait, the red, holy shoot the red. Dude, look at the red. That looks insane. Do like a dark red like that. That looks freaking crazy, man. We're back at Playa Azul Circuit in our fully upgraded Lamborghini Ascenza. 1580 horsepower. Dude, the freaking engine sound is insanely brutal in my ears right now. Like, my headphones are a little loud, probably. And that's probably what's accounting for the uh, brutalness of the sound. But the anti-lag is insane. Holy freaking crap. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is that? What is this? What the hell is this? Have I seen this before? I don't think I've seen this before. Uh, people. Do I have this? What is this? I, I don't think I've seen this thing before. It's a freaking go-kart. Random JP. Uh, I don't know what this is. I have not seen this before in the game. Um, I would love to know what the heck that is because that looks pretty damn funny. Um, and nice to race around in. I have not seen that. Is that a new car that's coming to the game? Am I crazy? Or has that already been in the game? I don't know what that thing is. Aside from that, back to the racing. We're in seventh place. Get out of the way, you freaking Ferrari. God, this thing is brutal. That anti-lag and the way the freaking flames pop out is insane, dude. Holy shoot. This Bugatti is annoying the heck out of me right now. Get out of the way! Oh my god. What is this freaking little... This, it's a damn rocket ship. Why is it going so fast? Moving on to the third lap. And I'm very, very annoyed because there's a freaking Bugatti again in the front of everybody. I don't know how the heck it's so far ahead of everybody. That's very, very annoying. This thing is opening up. It's taking a breath. 230 miles an hour. I completely messed up that corner. All right, we're back. That Bugatti in front, dude, it needs to die. Like, for real? That Bugatti should not be there. Extreme track toy my foot. Like, it's a fast car, don't get me wrong. 1,500 horsepower inside of those things, but... I mean, come on, dude. It cannot take corners the way that guy's taking corners. Like, it is impossible. Impossible and a half at that. Bro, the freaking anti-lag on this thing. 
Look, do you see anti lag? Like, I completely destroyed this car already, but it's fine. We're gonna get second place. Oh, dude, anti lag, bro. Hey, I can't even turn anymore. The car's destroyed. It's fine. It's fine. Second place, we're gonna take it in the Ascenza SCV12 with a mind blowing sounding engine and exhaust note, man. Absolutely mind blowing. We're at the high. We're gonna be running a top speed run on the SCV12 Lamborghini Ascenza. With 1,580 horsepower, this thing is an absolute missile. An absolute missile. But one thing we have to do first is tune the car a little bit with the gearing. So this thing already goes stupid fast. And it maxes out 7th gear at about 230 miles an hour. So I'm going to drop the final drive to a 3.5. And let's see how fast this thing can go with its little bit of a beginner tune, if you will. Oh, dude, it sounds so freaking brutal, this thing. Here we go, 150 miles an hour at 5th gear. Going into 6th gear 180. Ooh, wow, a little bit of a hop there. 218 miles an hour going into 7th gear. Oh, we're moving now, bro. 235. 240. Oh, it's screaming. 245. 250. 252, 253. Considering this thing has a massive, massive wing. Oh, come on, dude. Like, why did it do that to me? It, like, turned. Considering this thing does have a massive, massive wing. 255 miles an hour, really? Like, that is crazy, man. There's so much downforce on this car, and it still has a crazy top speed. 256, it's still gaining. Hold on, let me tune it a little bit, little bit down. A little bit lower, if you will. Let's go... I'll do a 70. See what that, see what that does. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Hold on. That was my bad. Uh, 75 is fine, I think. Yeah, 75 is fine. That's a little bit better. 256, going uphill and we're still gaining. 256, 255, 256. Why does it keep shuffling? That's weird. Come on, 257, 258, 59, 60. There we go, 261, 262, 263, 264. Come on, nope, 263 miles an hour is the top speed of this thing. Why is it swaying like that? There's like no assisted steering at all. You like turn it and it like just continues to go inside of that direction. It's crazy. Oh, we're handling this corner with ease. 254, 55 miles an hour. Oh, this corner too, 240 miles an hour. Aside from that stupid Ford Fiesta, we actually handled that pretty damn well. This car is insane, dude. My voice cracked, but that's how excited I am. Like, this car is insane. Final verdict for the Essenza SCV12. Definite cop. The only thing that sucks is that you do have to pay real life money for this thing. So if you come over here to the store portion, come over here to car packs, it's right here. It's called the Forza Horizon 5 Italian Exotics Car Pack. This thing does have seven cars available to purchase. It is It costs $10 United States money right but you get all of these super super cool italian exotics cars right and the scv12 just another one of those cars that is absolutely mind-blowing such as the number 63 squadra corsa huracan also both of these vehicles with anti-lag on the stock engine this, they sound insane like absolutely insane it is so freaking mind-blowing so I think it is a definite cop. You do get seven cool cars that nobody else is going to have if they have not bought the uh, Exotics car pack yet. But it's available to everybody, right? You just have to buy it with real money. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap off today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smack the like button, subscribe for new chat. Let me know what other car from the Exotics car pack you want to see here on the channel. And I'll check it out in the next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.